Hey there, Internet Drifters. It's Izanami Kun here with RimWorld VFES number four. Last video, we got Thunder. And uh, he's not too bad. He he can do quite a few things. I mean, he can do medical six. It's as good as hammer, and he's our best medical. He's got this creepy breathing thing over here. I don't know about all that, but he's got a great memory, and he's a fast walker. He seems like he might be a good addition to our little colony here. And in any case, we could really use an extra hand. He's got a little bit in shooting. Not a lot, but you know, there's room to grow. For the most part, he's going to be on hauling and cleaning. The big thing is that he has this intellectual of 13. Uh, by contrast, Purr only has 11. So that means we can use Purr as our constructor and not dual work thing anymore. He can just be on construction and not even worry about researching. And then Thunder, Thunder can take that, that place of the researcher. I mean, he, he was a lazy programmer. What does that mean? Legally questionable methods. Well, I mean, it did factor into him getting that 13. And then he was a military child where he got some of his other skills. So, yeah. He won't do any plant work and he won't do mining, but that's okay. We weren't really going to use him for that anyway. And like I said, we're mainly going to use him for hauling and cleaning. So, that's not, it's not a big deal. But that means we can take Severin off of the hauling so he can start doing growing, which is amazing. He hasn't been able to do that this whole time. So let's go ahead and get the grow areas set up. We'll do this one as heel root. We can't sew it yet, but we will eventually. We'll do this one as rice. We'll do this one as cotton. And this one as a uh, smoke leaf. No, not cycloid. Smoke leaf. Yes. Although, well, uh, the reason why we use smoke leaf is because her and Severin both have this, um, this chemical interest, which they have negative debuffs from uh, over time if they don't get to use any chemicals. And on second thought, let's go ahead and make some psychoid because maybe I can make some psychite tea. And that will give them some positive buffs because the smoke leaf actually like makes them slow and fumbly and stuff. And that way they don't have to, uh, they don't have to be nerfed all the time and they can actually get some work done. And I'm pretty sure as long as I limit them to only getting one a day, they shouldn't get addicted. They shouldn't, but we'll see. We'll see how that, how that works out. So there's this area up here and these trees are all burnt out. Wouldn't it be really cool if they gave you charcoal? Hey, look, the rhinos are almost gone out of the perimeter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thunder. Thunder. Seriously, it's not like you're actually hitting... You're not actually hitting the rat. You really could have hit Hammer there. Seriously, you have got to blend in a little better. If you are going to be part of this community, you have to make sure that you're not endangering people's lives. Okay, Thunder? That's kind of a big deal around here. Jeez. Okay, well, as punishment for a little while, Thunder is going to do some research, because, yeah. We don't, we can't really trust him with a gun. Now what is eating you, Purr? What is going on? Okay, so there's a few things that we can do, like making it cooler in here. But then again, maybe I should just make rooms, because that's on his list too. 
Okay, well, first we have to take care of this item situation. Hey, Per, help me get these items taken care of. Boop. Boop. Almost done, buddy. Ah, really? Well, I guess we could have seen that one coming. And he is all over Thunder. Well, now it's Severin's job. Severin, I need you to pack up these items. Get them going over here. And there's Purr back with the Thunder. He really does not like that guy. How is his immunity? Oh, that's, that's good. You're good. It still says you're sick, though. And you don't like the meals. You didn't like... Okay, so we should probably do the table sometime soon. And the chemical one we can't do anything about until stuff's grown. Well, we're... We're working on it, Per. We're working on it. But maybe lay off the new guy just a little bit? Do you think? I mean... Well, Per... Per did some damage to him already. He's got a negative 10. For being insulted. I wonder what Per's insults are going to be like, too. And now he's all over Severin. Why are you insulting Severin? He's like the least insult-worthy person. Come on, Purr. You know you like him. Oh, okay. So then you're back to Thunder. Maybe he was mad at Severin because Severin's so nice. Oh. And now Thunder's broke. And there's nothing we can do about it because we don't have any jail to take them to. Well, I guess it's over now anyway. Purr, you really should have known better. Thunder, whatever. At 12 hours... Jesus, you really laid the smack down, Thunder. You could have been a little nicer. Okay, so here's how the bedrooms are going to be set up. And Thunder is going to stay out in the common area because he's the newbie and we're not really all happy with him anyway. I mean, look at, look at his... Wow, 85. He really hates Purr. Those insults really cut him to his core. I bet that they were like super logical insults or astute observations about things that really cut to the bone. Because I mean, negative 50. Come on. I thought two did like negative 10 to his mood. So now five do negative 50. Now they're suddenly worth 10 each. I mean, maybe mood is different, but Purr just sees him as a zero. But even Severin doesn't really like him all that much. It's that creepy breathing that's really, really not doing it for him. And Severin likes everybody. And then there's Hammer, and Hammer doesn't really like him either. And he's, he's kind. He doesn't care whether you're ugly. But that creepy breathing really rubs everybody the wrong way. In fact, Purr is even because of their fight, which is... Which is a little bit bizarre when you think about it. I don't know. I, I guess maybe the fight was a good thing. Oh, well, I don't know. We might not be able to keep Thunder here. I mean, he, he doesn't really seem to be melding in with the group. But at the same time, this is their community dream. To be able to bring people together and, and help them. Regardless of who they are or where they came from. And... I don't know. I mean, if we can't get along with Thunder in some way, I almost feel like the colony is a failure for them. But I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. Maybe giving them bedrooms will will help tremendously. I mean, the fight definitely didn't do any benefits to Purr's mood for the most part. I mean, he's got that catharsis, but he's got some intense pain. An ugly environment. And all this other stuff that we, we definitely need to take care of. So building these rooms, I think, are going to be a big part of that. But Thunder thunder might be that thorn in, the, in their side. So we'll just have to... We'll just have to see. You know? The, the colony... Colony is their big dream. And... and we're going to do what we can to help them find their way 
into that dream. Well, like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next video.